Hello and welcome to Ginny's Gin Livestream. I'm Ginny and along with my husband Rob and our dearest friends Amy and Jeff Close, we founded Ginny's Gin a few years back. Um, I have some exciting news for you. Oh, first of all, um, I'm going to tell you that Rob isn't here because he's in Florida and that's part of the exciting news is that Ginny's Gin is now being distributed in Florida. So those of you that live in Florida can now get your hands on Ginny's Gin. So uh, wherever your favorite uh, liquor store is or wherever you get your booze, um, ask them for Gin is Gin. And um, the name of the distributor is Allocated Wine and Spirits. And not only is Rob selling the gin while he's in Florida, he is also selling um, our gravel pit wines as well. So um, he's having a very busy couple of weeks. Um, I think he's exhausted already. It's, uh, you know, after the pandemic and not doing all that stuff. I, it's, uh, it's, sort of, it's not second nature anymore, is it? Um, anyway, so uh, cheers to Rob in Florida. He is, uh, I guess yesterday he was um, somewhere and he was uh, having a few corpse revivers, um, which is one of our favorite uh, cocktails. Um, so anyway, uh, good luck Rob, uh, good luck out there and uh, go sell it. Um, that's awesome. So I'm solo uh, today um, and I have a story about uh, last week's cocktail that I made. So uh, for those of you that watch on a regular basis, you'll know that I made a cocktail with elderflower and I infused the Ginny's Gin with the elderflower. And, you know, we had that little conversation off to the side about, you know, how the stems are poisonous. And so um, I took all the big, thick green stems off, um, but there was still the little, you know, the little green stems that, you know, attached to the flowers. And I thought that would be fine, right? Um, and I seriously didn't actually finish the entire cocktail. I had, you know, a few sips. Um, anyway, woke up the next morning and, um, yeah, that had some kind of effect. <laughs> In fact, um, I thought I was probably prepping for a colonoscopy. Um, it was about as effective. So, uh, yeah, so be careful with, with those elderflowers. I will never look at an elderflower bush quite the same way. Um, so needless to say, I will keep that infused, the elderflower infused gin in the larder for anybody that pisses me off and I make them a cocktail with it. Um, maybe it was just my, I mean, I feel like I have the constitution of an ox, so I wasn't worried about it, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, so that's my elderflower story. Um, and then today, as promised, um, the cocktail that I'm going to make is using the caviar gems from Paulina Steyer. And um, she's given me this recipe. It's obviously a fabulous martini. And um, she's... Uh, uh, she's told me what to do with it, and uh, it's going to be fun. And I, I would love to make two cocktails, but um, I, Rob actually wants to make a, another cocktail using the caviar gem, so I'm going to let him do that one uh, when he uh, when he gets back. All right, so it is a, now I get this pun, obviously, a sturgeon as opposed to a sturgeon, uh, caviar gem, Ginny's Gin uh, Martini, so uh, kind of fun. Oh, and I have at the end, I'm gonna I have a challenge for you as well. Instead of doing a second co uh, se second cocktail, I have a challenge for everybody. All right, so but onward with the cocktail. So we are going to do a stirred martini, not a James Bond shaken, not stirred martini. We're going to do a stirred martini the right way. So we're going to take some ice and put it in our stirring glass. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the vermouth and we're just going to rinse the glass with it. So it's going to be a, a very dry martini. We're going to rinse it and then I'm going to toss it out or use it in a different cocktail. Um, so dry martini as opposed to, uh, you know, you leaving the uh, vermouth in there. And, you know, everybody has their own style and ideas about martinis. Prince Charles, he actually does um one part gin to one part vermouth so that he doesn't get too hammered too quickly i think so i'm just going to rinse this and then i'm going to put it off to the side so that i can use it in a different cocktail so there it is um i think it was noel coward who said just wave it in the general direction of italy um so he liked his bone dry obviously um okay so now um and the glass obviously you put your martini glass in the freezer so it stays nice and cold and we're going to do two ounces and I don't have my measuring cup with me so I'm just going to pour what I think is about two ounces about that much maybe a little more there we go and we're going to give it a nice stir so that it gets all nice and cold and silky 
And as you know, Dennis Gin, you know, is sort of renowned for being super smooth and this wonderful sort of viscous mouthfeel. So uh, that really shows up nicely in a martini because it really is all about the gin and the botanicals when you it, it's in a martini. And then we're going to have this wonderful flavor of the ocean, which we're going to add with the caviar gems. And actually, I'm going to stir a little bit more. And in the meantime, I'm going to take a teaspoon of the gems and I'm going to soak them in the gin is gin just for a little bit while I'm talking. Um, so I'm using a caviar spoon. You can just do a, a teaspoon of these. That's not quite a teaspoon. It's a fairly small glass. So uh, there we go. So there are the caviar gems. There we go. I think I showed these to you last week. Caviar gems. And you can go to info at caviar gems um, if you would like to purchase some and we'll find out whereabouts close to you you can buy them. And, you know, again, it's a startup. So, you know, it's, it's, I love helping people um, with uh, their new ventures. And Colleen, is, as I mentioned before, you know, she's very, very passionate about this. And uh, I think it's such a great idea because you don't, you know, with caviar, obviously you have to keep it on you know ice or keep it in the refrigerator but these little gems can just stay on your bar or in your larder so all right so i think we're cold enough now and we're going to grab my strainer there we go into the martini glass and use your favorite most elegant martini glass obviously this is um i really like this one it's kind of different and there it is and this will get the party started for sure a little 90 proof gin is gin and now we're going to take these wonderful caviar gems and we're going to pop them in here look at that how fun and it really does taste like the ocean. There we go. That's pretty too. I have an idea for another time. Um, okay. So, info at Caviar Gems. And then we're going to take a nice little lemon twist that I did earlier. There we go. Ta-da! And as I say, this one is stirred and not uh, um, shaken like James Bond. Um, okay, so that's with gin is gin. So that's the stir gin cocktail that we've made. Thank you, Paulina, for the recipe and uh, for providing the caviar gems. We are big fans and it really does taste like the ocean. So it's fabulous. I'm going to taste it obviously in a sec. Um, so here's my challenge. Um, with the estrogen, I know I've been going on and on about all these silly, you know, um, cocktail names and what have you, and um, I think it's fun. I, I, you know, the whole, all the um, menopause puns and what have you. So, uh, and you know, we are celebrating this next chapter of our lives um, as well as making fun of it. But uh, so, my challenge to you guys out there, um, those of you that are budding um, mixologists or you're just great chefs or what have you, and you have great palates. Um, I would love it if you guys could come up with your own um, gin recipe for estrogen and um, we would basically what we'd like you to do is come up with the recipe but also come up with a very creative um, appropriate uh, tongue-in-cheek name if you like um, much like the bone dry martini or the mad cow Collins or the night sweat Negroni you know I mean I've got a ton of them but um, I would love it if you guys would get creative and so basically send um, send it to Ginny at ginnysgin.com or you can reach us on Ginny's Gin, the website. And then um, the other piece of news I have is that um, the estrogen website will be up and running um, by next week. Um, it's myestrogen.com. So you could also reach out uh, there with your estrogen uh, cocktails. So yeah, so come up with a recipe. Um, if you could also, you know, sh take a photo of it and send us the photo of it and then also um, tell us the, the name of the cocktail as well. Um, and I would say, you know, the, the top three, let's say, um, we'll include them on the myestrogen.com website. Um, so I think that'd be kind of fun if you could, could help us with that. Um, it'd be super cool. And I think at some point we're probably going to get together and uh, 
maybe do a cocktail book or a cocktail deck with um, cards as well. So if it's a really good recipe, maybe it makes it onto the deck as well. So that'd be very cool. Um, so cheers everybody. Um, cheers to Rob out there selling in Florida. And for those of you who are in Florida, please look for Ginny's Gin. And um, I'm gonna take a little cheers here with the sturgeon cocktail, the martini. And uh, cheers everybody, have a great weekend. And uh, we will see you next Friday. I love the smell of this. Mm. Awesome. That's really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Delish. All right, guys. Uh, see you next week. Have a, have a fun weekend.